Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anud, and today in the JavaScript tutorial, I will discuss about DOM content loaded event. So this event is very useful event, and when this event occurs, when entire content will load completely in the document, so that time this event occurs. So now I will go to the HTML file and I will show you the practical example. Then it will be more clear. So here you can see inside this HTML file, I have some content. The content is hello and one image. So when those two will be rendered properly, so that time this doc, DOM content event will occur. So here the one thing. So inside this DOM here, this is called document, right? Or you can say DOM. So inside this document, here is the CSS, right? You can see this is the external CSS file. And here I'm assuming you know the basic HTML. So you know, right? If you know the basic HTML, so I hope you know you, we can add the external CSS file, even though we can add a style here also, right? We can write style tag and like this way, we can write some CSS. Suppose I want to add some CSS for this H1 tag. So I can write H1. Suppose I want to change the color. So I can write red. Now if I go to the browser, so you can see this is coming red color. And same way we can write some JavaScript here also. But content loaded means here it won't consider this script file and the style, right? It will see only those content. I mean, whatever we will write inside the body tag apart from script and style. So if it is loaded inside the body tag, whatever you like, then this event will occur. I hope it is clear. Still, if you have any doubt, you can write in the comment section. Again, I will say like it doesn't consider the script and style. Okay, it means CSS and JavaScript, it doesn't consider. Apart from CSS and JavaScript, every content is loaded. That time, DOM content loaded event occurs. So for that purpose, now I will show you the example. Okay, one example I will show you on the syntax as well. So for that purpose, now I will go to write the C syntax. So here I will write window dot add event listener. So what it does add event listener means it will listen the event. So what is the event? So event is DOM content loaded. You can see here DOM is the capital and after that content loaded camel case. Okay, here you can see. C is the capital and L is the capital here. Then here I will write comma same syntax just you have to follow then function parenthesis and curly braces okay and here I will write one console console message so here I will write DOM loaded successfully okay so now when those two content will be loaded completely so that time this message will be printed in the console. So I will save and now I will go to the browser and I will open the console. So here if I go you can see this message is printed already because the content loaded already. Now if I refresh so see content is loaded and the message is printed. So it is it is coming immediately right so we can't see. So for that purpose here what I will do so this image I render by here right but now I will render it by JavaScript means here. Same thing we can render by JavaScript as well. So what I will do, just see what I am doing here. So I will take one variable const and this image source, I will take it from here. Okay. And I will write one variable name image source equals to and this image path. Okay. Now this image path I have stored inside this variable. Now here I will create one image by this JavaScript. So here I will write document and those are called element. Okay, those are called elements. So I'm going to create an image element. So here I will write document dot create element. Okay, create element and what element I'm going to create that is this image element because now this image I'm trying to render from JavaScript. So the image is created. And this image I will store inside an another variable. So variable name here I will write image. Okay. So now image tag is created. And I have added image path. But this image path I have to add inside the source. 
so what i will do this image image means this image element is creating here so now here i will write this image dot source equals to this image path so now by javascript i am adding this image source okay i hope it is clear okay now here from here i will remove this image okay i mean from in this body type and i will now i am rendering it from javascript but if i save and if i go to the browser it won't render see it is not rendering because now for now just i have created one image tag and i have added the image path but i did not append it inside the body tag so i have to append so again i will write document dot append child right and what i am going to append this image whatever image i have created after that i have added source file now this image i am going to append inside this body tag so now something error is coming okay uh, here i have written document dot append child but entire is the document right but i have to add the specific place so specific place means i want to append inside this body tag so here i have to write document dot body dot append child okay so see image is rendering so now here image is rendering immediately and the, that's why the message is rendering also but what i will do this image i will append a bit late so here for that purpose i will add one set timeout means this is the also syntax of set timeout you can write the same syntax okay and inside this timeout i will write one time okay means after how many times i want to render the image suppose i want to render the this image after 4000 millisecond means 4 second okay you have to provide time here as a millisecond format so 4000 millisecond means 4 second means i want to render this image after 4 second so i will paste inside this timer so now here after see it is not rendering this image but after 4 second it is rendered again if i reload see after 4 second this image will render and why i am doing this one you can easily understand i said when content will be loaded apart from script and style tag if content loaded then this dom uh, content loaded even will be occur okay so here you can see when i am reloading the page this image coming by javascript right but here it is loading a little bit late but here if you notice this message is printed because this content is loaded it is not waiting for the script tag means this image coming from script tag but it is not waiting for the script tag right when this content is loaded completely so that time the message is printed so means here content it check the content only it doesn't consider the script tag and the style tag also okay i hope it is clear still if you have any doubt you can write in the comment comment section i always try to solve your doubt or you can follow me in my insta id insta id will get in the description even though in the screen uh, you can get the insta id so you can follow you can message me whatever your doubt suppose you stuck in any code you can just send me the screenshot in my insta id i will try i will try to guide you and if you find this video is helpful so please like this video also subscribe my channel to get more update in javascript